Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another episode of the Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, Go Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 182. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? Yes, the recap game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Columbus Blue Jackets. The five crisis stat so far for the Montreal Canadiens. That's only we have today on this episode. Let's dive in and talking about the first subject of the day. My first subject, guys, is about the, my top five craziest statistic, analytic, Montreal by different players we have so far since the beginning of the season. Some of them are after 16 games. Some of them is after 17 games. Let's dive in with the first one. First of all, it's all about the Montreal Canadian the defenseman rookies since the beginning of the season, the TOI. And in its shell, Caden Cooley is the number two with over 20 minutes per game. He's just behind Owen Power. Jordan Arias is number four. Kovacevic is number nine. And then Jakai is number 10. Then my second one, guys, about Mike Hoffman, underlying number, best as forward and not Tuber. He dominate as a shot control, expected goal, and high danger shot chance. Then I want to share with you the next one. It's coming with the same category, but is that enough? Underlying number, dominate all forward on Thursday night before the game against the Blue Jacket. He controlled the shot control, 53.6, expected goal share, 59.8. And the high danger scoring share is at 53.7. Then we have Nick Zuski, guys. And third 17 game after the game against the Jacket, he has 21 points right now. 11 goal, 10 assists. Caulfield is at 16 points with 9 goal, 7 assists, 7 and 17 game. Finally, Kobe Doc is a full goal, 11 assists, 15 points. One of the best top line in NHL after 17 games for the Montreal Canadiens. The next one is about finally Kovacevic, underlying number by all the defensemen so far since the beginning of the season. He dominate in many categories. Some of them are shot sharing. It's 54.9%. Scoring chance share, 522 The high danger scoring share, 48.9%. Then the goal share is at 61.1. He is really the one dominate with all the analytic number on the line since the beginning of the season as a defenseman. And just want to give you its friend number. Sometimes we cannot pay attention during the game. And what the reason they are important player for the Montreal Canadiens. The biggest one, I'll be honest with you, that enough should have a minimum of four or five goals since the beginning of the season. Hoffman should have about 7, 8 goals. Overall, you can see the impact of all the four defensemen rookie for the Montreal Canadian. That's complete, guys. My first subject of the day. Let's move on for subject number two. My next subject of the day, guys, is about the recap game between the Montreal Canadian and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Mm, yep, it's happened. Many of uh, fans, Montreal, thought the Montreal Canadiens going to be the Columbus Blue Jacket uh, and Columbus. We know Montreal Canadiens in the last eight games before this game was 1-7-0. They don't have a lot of success in the last couple of years in Columbus. Uh, and again, tonight, the last part of the score is 6-4. Really interesting banana game or a funny game where it's all up and down. And it was the game where the team make the most mistake, lose the game. And I'm going to give you another perspective of the result of the game because many hockey fans, Montreal, think Montreal have a really bad game. It's honestly, it's not true. I will try to show to another way what I believe Montreal overall have a better game of what a people see that game. First of all, let's dive in, guys, with my first comments about this game. Great game, but only 40 minutes. Again, the Devils, guys, they play an amazing, great first period, and then they drop period number two and period number three. Obviously, again, the Columbus Blue Jacket, it was reverse. It was an ugly first period, guys. It was ugly. When I said ugly, the mistake after mistake happening most of this period, whatever the shot was, 
11. Columbus took advantage of two goals to take the lead 2-0 over the Montreal Canadiens after 20 minutes. But this period was the, the worst for the Montreal Canadiens since the beginning of the season. We saw many mistakes from the defensemen. Some rookies, some veterans, Saval, Harris, Haber. But again, Montreal did not take advantage of a couple of possibilities. They got during the first period because Carlos Pisalo make a couple of saves. But again, Montreal was really not great the first period. Then, Montreal Canadian guys come back again. They play better the second period and the third period. They tie the game during the second period. After 40 minutes, was 2-2. At that moment, I thought Montreal was going to be okay for the rest of the game. We have a fight between Albert Jacquai and Olivier at the end of this period. And then during the third period, guys, it was Banana. Six goals during that period. But a net domination of Montreal Canadian guys. 31-18 in the shot. Whatsoever, Montembeau was pretty good during the first period to stop a couple of breakaways to keep Montreal in the game because it could be worse after one period. It could be 4-5-0 Columbus. Obviously, for Montembeau, it was not strong enough. Six goals in the third period, four by the Columbus, two by Montreal. Montreal tried to come back, guys. They was 2-2, 3-2, 3-3, 5-3, 5-4, and then Tinet at the end of the game to give the result by the score a 6-4. The defenseman struggled in the first period for Montreal Canadiens, like I mentioned to you. Saval make a big mistake at the blue line, and it's part of the game. Jordan Harris struggled. Albert creates some kind of turnover. Kovacevic have not a very good first period for Montreal Canadiens. The only one that was pretty good, it was Caden Cooley and Joel Edmondson. Then, we have to be honest here, Montembeau fell. I think for the first time of the, of the season, Montembeau did not try, well, he did not try. He did not keep the team in the game at the third period with three goals against him. If a one save, example, the Corelli goal, if he make not that puck and he make the save, this may be another way the final score. But unfortunately, he did not. On the flip side, Kupersalo guy was the star of the game. He got over face to over 42 shots. Was unbelievable between the pipe for the Blue Jacket against Montreal Canadian tonight. Finally, guys, is the Jacket took a percentage uh, tonight. They won't have a chance uh, to score. And you're going to see in the, my next graphic a couple of minutes. The reason why I said that, because they don't have a lot of high danger scoring chance against Montreal Canadian. But every time they have a chance to score, they did it. The first goal hit the body of Arvis. Every time they have a chance, they took advantage of the opportunities tonight against Montreal Canadian. Arvis scored his first goal in NHL as a member of the Montreal Canadian tonight, but not good enough to give the W. For the Montreal Canadiens tonight against the Columbus Blue Jacket. Uh, let's move on, guys, for the, my graphic of the night uh, between both teams, the Montreal Canadiens and, of course, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, my first graphic, guy, is the leader of the point tonight. Devil Rec have two points. Ski have two points. Manian shot seven times against Copisalo. Manian could score at least a minimum two goals tonight. Uh, Ski play. 23-11 minutes again the Blue Jacket. Manipo only a save percentage of 0.821. This is the worst game for him since the beginning of the season. Corelli, he looked like Conor McDavid at the third period. Scored two goals, three points for the night. Matthew Olivier a five shot on Samuel Montembeau. The four line of the Blue Jacket was the best line tonight. Again, a Montreal Canadian. Kavrikov at 25-57. Finally, Copa Salud, guys. Whatsoever, I have only 0.905 save percentage. Stop 38 of the 42 shot tonight. Again, the Montreal Canadiens. The next graphic I want to mention, guys, is the shot scoring shot for the Montreal. This is rare. What happening? Usually, the opening team are better scoring shots, but tonight it was all about the Montreal Canadiens. You can see on this graphic, Montreal have a lot of shots. And the high danger scoring chance on the end inside of the house, comprehensively of the Blue Jacket. Like I said, they took advantage of the opportunities that they got tonight against Montreal Canadiens. Finally, I want to share with you my last graphic of the day. It's about the analytics. I'm always looking for three areas of me. The CF percentage is the, the way the puck management for the both team. Montreal dominate. It's rare. They're usually really over 50% tonight. 56.48. Like I mentioned to you guys, Montreal have a better game what we think. 
like they dominate second and third period, but now you're going to have to win. Second layer, we said to you, is a high danger chance for and chance again. Montreal dominate 11-8. This guy is only a 5 versus 5. So I does not count uh, all situation, power play, short and third, or a 4 versus 4. And finally, the X goal 4. Montreal Canadian uh, dominate again 58.12. Versus 41. Just give you an idea. Montreal did not score enough uh, to win this game. Finally, I want to mention to you guys is uh, Montreal going to returning on the ice at the Bell Center again. The Flyers. Uh, the next five game, Montreal have a really easy schedule again. The team are not a playoff. They play again Jack Blue Jacket next week in Ohio. They got Buffalo Sabers. Uh, they have Chicago Blackhawks and the San Jose Sharks. Uh, so five teams right now in front of them. And the next uh, 10 days, uh, we'll see how they're going to respond. Montreal Canadian, we'll see. With this uh, last night, the record is 8-8-1. Eight, eight, and one. That's complete, guys. All my subject I have for you today. Here we go, guys. This complete my episode at 182. Hopefully, you enjoy it. It was a little bit short today. But uh, again, I just want to share with you my comments about the game between Montreal and uh, Columbus. Finally, five crazy sap. We got so far since the beginning of the season. Hopefully you enjoy it. But before we leave, we invite you. Don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Hockey Nation Show. And please leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about the performance of Montreal Canadian. All its friends that I bring to you today. And of course, I want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, blessing day, everybody. Mm -hmm.